Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will talk about conceptual programming in Streamlit and these concepts are very very important when it comes to real world scenarios. So first of all in this tutorial we will discuss callbacks of Streamlit. So callbacks are simply functions which will occur uh, at a certain event and that event can be your button click or a, that event can be uh, a radio button options okay whenever someone selects a different option of the radio button that event may occur okay or it can be a checkbox stair changing as well okay so whenever someone changes the start of the checkbox that event may occur so these callbacks are very very important and you will go through different types of uh, situations where you need those callbacks and in this tutorial we will discuss one of the simplest situation of the callbacks so without further discussion let's jump right into the practical work and uh, let's create here a simple python file okay and i will name it like concept concept.py okay and then hit enter so first of all we need to import streamlit so right here i am prt import sorry let's re remove this s and import streamlit streamlit as st okay and now uh, let's create here a simple text input so just write here st.txt text underscore input okay and uh, now let's say that i want to fetch the username okay so just write here entr enter your and me enter your name a simple situation okay and i will save my this uh, uh, input inside this input input variable okay and now let's create here a submit button as well so just write here s underscore btn is equals to st dot bu double t o n button okay and just write here s u b m i t okay and now whenever user clicks on that submit button we need to display a checkbox okay so just write here s underscore btn okay uh, btn okay and i need to write st.checheck checkbox okay and now here uh, let's suppose that whenever user checks this checkbox i need to display uh, his or her name okay so just right here um want to display want to display display your name okay so we will ask a question and uh, based on this uh, output we will process everything else okay so just right here uh, opt is equals to and uh, here let's write if opt is true if user has checked this checkbox we need to print this input variable so just write here input 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 okay now let's save it and let's run this application stream lit streamlit are you and run c o n c p t concept dot p y okay and what are you expecting will it run correctly or not so let's see the output okay so here we need to enter the name so let's enter uh umar ahmed and then just click on this submit and now we have a widget so i want to display my name on this terminal but whenever i check this checkbox what are you expecting so let's check it and yeah my checkbox has gone and i have no output on the terminal so this is one of the situation where you need to uh, understand the concept of callbacks so before we jump into callbacks concept it's very important to understand behind the scene concept of streamlit so whenever user change the state of this checkbox uh, the streamlit application reload or rerun this whole script and these whole lines from the start okay and whenever the streamlet comes to this point where we are actually checking that if the state of button is true or not then we need to process everything else so here whenever it uh, comes we will not click on that button and it will stop its operation until and unless we click on this button and whenever we click on that button it will open this checkbox it will show up this checkbox and whenever we change the state of this checkbox it will rerun this whole application and we will never get this print message so in order to solve this kind of problem we need to use callbacks so callbacks basically changes the behavior of a streamlit backend programming so before it actually runs the whole program from the start it runs the callback first and then all other functions okay so 
for example let's remove this line and let's remove it as well okay and now here let's create a function okay and that function will be our callback so just write here def and here i will say printer printer okay and i want to print something okay so just put this colon and then write here print and here i will pass uh, i will print a message like uh, m e double s a g message okay and then here i will pass my this callback okay and uh, here i will say that uh, put comma and then on underscore change so streamlit basically provides us two different types of callbacks so one is the on change callback and other one is the on click callback okay and uh, uh, the on click callback is basically related to buttons whenever someone clicks on the button you need to call the on click callback okay and whenever user changes the state of the interactive widgets of streamlit you need to call this on change callback okay so checkbox is an interactive widget of streamlit that's why it will support this on change callback okay so just write here on change and then we need to pass here the function name and in this case my function name is this printer okay so just write here p r i n t r printer okay so now i have mentioned you that this is a callback so th this is actually not a callback our callback is this this is an event okay so whenever this event occurs we need to call this callback okay so i hope that you have understood the concept of event and callbacks okay and now if i save it and if i run my this uh, program you will see that we will get our output okay so let's enter here any kind of dummy name just click on the submit and now let's change the state of this checkbox okay so click on this and open the terminal and now we are getting our message now we need to understand the backend programming of streamlit so whenever we change the state of this checkbox the streamlit will basically run this line first okay and then it will run this one this one and everything else okay so before it actually runs the whole program it will first run the callback and then it will rerun the whole program and that's the reason why we are getting our required message now here in many situations we also need to pass some kind of arguments to a callback so the process is again very simple you just need to write here a rgs args property okay and hit enter and here you need to define your arguments in form of a tuple so let's create here a simple tuple and in this situation i need to pass this input okay so just write here i n p u t input okay and then put this comma so here make sure that you should put this comma otherwise you will get an error okay and now here inside this callback function we need to accept an extra argument and that will be like an ame name okay and here instead of this message i will print the name just write here an ame name okay let's save it and uh, let's uh, reload this application again and uh, let's pass the name here and just click on this submit and yeah i want to display the name check it and now let's open the terminal and yeah we are now getting our name so this is how this callback concept will work okay and i hope that you have understood how callbacks work and how to pass arguments to the callback and i will see you in the next tutorial till that point bye bye